Oh my God, my male escort, you guys came so early. Come on in. Welcome to Arden's very cool and some might even say very classy apartment tour. <laughs> Enjoy. Hi there. On a day where self-isolation seems to be the only thing on anyone's mind, I figured I'd let you into my apartment. I was gonna say house and I don't have a house. Into my apartment. Welcome to my quarantine space. Give them a loop, Will. Here you okay. go. Whoa. Yeah. So much space to quarantine. What's over here? I don't even know. A kitchen, maybe? else at this point. <laughs> so for ages I've been saying that I wanted to do some kind of apartment tour. Let's go to a more scenic area. Come here. For ages I've been saying that I wanted to do some sort of apartment tour and I figured today was the day because Will and I have both been inside for two days now. Feels like longer but two days solidly and the walls are getting smaller and I figured it was time to let someone else in to see what's been going on. It's been years since I've done anything that shows where I live, but in particular this place I have never shown fully. And I figured it'd be interesting to see what you get in Venice, California. Back it up. Whoa, 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 don't get off of my space, dude. You wanna catch these hands? So, this is where we're gonna start this tour. This is the entrance to the house. We've got sort of what I like to call the work corner, <laughs> which is where I do the primary bulk of my work. So I've got my bags and I've got a skateboard over here, a longboard actually, technically speaking, right, Will? Mm -hmm. uh, and a yoga mat and like all of my supplies to work. This is where I work and sit and chill and also eat my breakfast and fart and complain and all of the things that I would do on a daily basis. They usually happen right here, like planning my week Everything happens at our kitchen counter, which is sort of bogus, but I'll kind of explain why. A good full view of what this looks like? Mm-hmm. Na na na, all my Vanna White shit. Our kitchen is relatively big, I think, for a one-bedroom apartment. It was the one thing that I kind of wanted um, in this place, was just a place where I felt like I could cook and not feel, like, really overwhelmed and small. Um, and so it is, like, a nice, big-ish kitchen. I can do a lot of this. Maybe even a little bit of this here. And that's all great and well and good. However, there's sort of a weird thing with this place, which is that the desk is right here in the kitchen. Um, and like, as you can see, it's not really a desk anymore. So... Yeah, it kind of turned into like a beauty desk because like, as you guys probably know, I get sent a shit ton of product. And so I'm constantly trying stuff out and like seeing what I like and what I don't like. And, and also like going through the process of culling things to donate them um, before they're used or if they're gently used. Uh, and that all happens here, which is fine. But as you've seen from like my decluttering videos and stuff, it's just an endless supply of things constantly. And so one thing about this place that I really don't like is that there's no storage. Like there's nowhere to put anything essential in my head. Like we use, I can show you over here. We use like the upper bit of our fridge as extra storage, which isn't so good. Um, like all of our laundry supplies and stuff just go above here. And like we could obviously make this a lot better by putting like a basket here and then like clearing things out a little bit. And it's not like I need to have mad matter, uh, what is this called? Smartest dough to ever flow. It's basically that like sand stuff that's like really asmr -y and amazing. Oh, freaking love this stuff. Um, it's not like I need that up there, but like it's nice to have, I guess. Over here we have an amazing washer and dryer. I love my washer and dryer. That's one thing that I can say. This baby. Oh been through some stuff together, but I love him. Um, so that's one thing I do really, really like is that we do have full washer and dryer. Um, but then like over here, we've got my beautiful Mondo Studio Ghibli poster that 
just don't judge me right now because I did put pins in it and I don't want to talk about it because it does make me upset every time I I mean I'm the one bringing it up but it does make me upset that I did this this poster so I'm gonna go get it framed when we actually move because um, I think it is worth framing and it's my one of my favorite things that I've ever purchased uh, I can't remember if I bought this for your birthday or if you bought it for me for one of my birthdays. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't really remember, but it's one of my favorite things. Either way, um, it's a beautiful Howl's Moving Castle poster with two little hidden faces in it. So cool. So, very nice. Um, also over here, just couch. Uh, our couch is from West Elm and it's the worst. Don't get this couch. Uh, I, I was an idiot and like just sat on the first couch at West Elm that I saw and was like, this feels good enough to live in for five years, let's do this. Um, and it just kind of throws you out every time you want to sit in it and that's the worst. Like the longer you sit in the couch, the more it hates you. Um, so would not recommend it. I think it's a beautiful couch, but it is not very practical. Um, although we did get a good deal on it. That was one thing I can't say. I think I paid 1300 bucks for this couch. Which is pretty good for a couch. This little poof uh, was from Anthropology, and I've had to refill the beads in it twice so far, and I'm about to have to do it again because that is just something we need to do. Like I said, this is my favorite, most aesthetically pleasing corner. Uh, over here, I have a, a print that Bo Matim, I'm not sure if that's how you say their name. Um, but an artist I really, really love uh, that did a print show in London that I go to. Um, I just loved it so much. It's the cast of a very good television show. If you can tell based on this what the, what the show is, I will be so impressed with you. Um, but I got it because it's one of my favorite shows. And um, yeah, I just thought it was a really cool print. And then I went to go get it framed and the framer was like, hey, what if you put a crazy border around it? And like, what if you did like a crazy frame? And I was like, yeah, that all sounds great. And then I did that and I paid a lot of money to have it done. And then I realized I don't like the way it's framed and I don't like the border, but it kind of works for it. And it's kind of quirky and weird. So I just left it and then I threw it back here because it goes with my aesthetic corner. Um, I've got my bookshelf right here, which does not look like a bookshelf. It's got a hidden metal spine in the back, so I get a lot of questions about this. That is how you get a floating bookshelf, is that it needs to have support on it. Um, or you can do the other thing that I've done here, which is just stack stuff up. Oh god, please do not reveal this corner too much. Uh, stack stuff up until it gets to the point of basically being the same height as an invisible um, bookshelf, just without any of the support that it needs. Um, over here is like our little console unit that holds our record player and we have this like busted out Simpsons painting that I still love. But when I got this in the mail, it had cracked and it was very sad, but I still keep it because I love it. And we've got speaker, Marshall speaker, some other little things, plants that are kind of dying because I was out of town and I should have taken better care of them, but I didn't. Um, these lights, which like, I'm so shook that they're still in the ceiling because I put these in the ceiling five years ago, like fully five years ago. And these bulbs still work. Everything still works. I'm trying to turn on the light with my toe. Are you? Oh, Cause that would have been, that would have been really cool. If they just lit up. That would have been pretty. Like cool. an idea. That would have been pretty dope. Like, bing. Yeah, wait, like we that. can, we can try it maybe. Wait, here, well, I'll just go like this. Wait. Okay, wait. Ready? Okay, so... Oh god, this is how I hit myself with a bulb and kill myself. Okay, ready? ready? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, these are from West Elm too. Wow. So... Not really an idea, just more of a statement. Just a thought. Well, it's like if, it, like, you know, I love them. They're kind of weird, but... And they don't make a whole lot of sense in the space, but... Well, you just kind of went for it. Yeah, I just kind of went for it, so... What are you gonna do? Um, over here we have our balcony, which we have been out into quite a bit, but I don't love the balcony because it does face our neighbors and I, it doesn't feel very private. So like, I don't see a lot of people out on their balconies and we are not out on our balconies like ever, mm -hmm. right? But just so you can see it, balcony, stuff over there, stuff over there. Balcony. 
see someone's on their balcony right now and because they're quarantined they're going crazy and like that like that never happens when do we ever see someone out on their balcony never people are getting stir crazy already oh hey <laughs> didn't see you there oh these? Oh yeah, no, they're just my newest Warby Parker glasses that I got. I've been trying them out for a bit to see if I like them, see what I think. These are actually the uh, Percy in Rye Tortoise, or tortoise as some people say. If you haven't surmised by this so far, this video is sponsored by Warby Parker. Warby Parker's awesome because all their glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses. You can also get blue light lenses, uh, you can get sunglasses. They even have contact lenses, which is crazy. But what I love is their home try-on kit. You can get five pairs of glasses shipped to your home for free, and you can try them on for five full days before sending them back and making your choice. You're not obligated to buy, so you don't have to, but if you would like to try a little home try-on kit with Warby Parker glasses, you can do that at warbyparker.com slash Arden Rose. And they have a prepaid shipping label on the inside as well, so you don't have to worry about sending them back and spending your own coin. So make sure to do that, check it out, take the quiz, see which glasses are right for you. Personally, I think these are pretty stellar, although they do look almost identical to Will's glasses, and I think there's something to be said about couples looking a little bit too much like each other eventually, so maybe I should go for... Uh, which ones are these? The Sadie Two-Tone Pink Crystal. This might be a better look for me. If you'd like to go check out the home try-on kit, you can do so. Link in my description. Thank you again to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. Okay, so then down here we have our like uh, living room table. What do you call that? A coffee table. A coffee table. One of those coffee One table things. One of those things. coffee tables. Speaking of which, I need to get some more coffee apparently. We've got like some fun little trinkets and things and Will's reflection in there. Um, this is also where I watercolor, like most of the time I'll sit on the little poof and then like watercolor down here. Um, so yeah, this is the latest thing I've watercolored. It's pretty cool. Just thought you should see. I watercolored for four hours straight yesterday because of the quarantine, so. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, there's that, and then what else, what else, what else, what else? TV's great. TV's keeping us sane. I bought this TV five years ago as well. No, this is new. This one's new? This is a new TV. When did I buy this? We had a really small one to begin with. Oh, right. Then we moved in there. Yes, I think oh we've only God. had this for like, maybe like two years. Right, 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 right. Because we were worried it wasn't gonna fit. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember this now. And it is like a giant monolith. Yes, but, but I love it. It's great. It's great TV. We love it, we love it. Yeah, our couch is kind of far we away. We love our TV. We love this TV, <laughs> we love it. Um, yeah, I, I, we got this together a while ago. These like random art things, like this was something I did when I was like 18 and it's terrible and I- I really like it. I really want to take it down cause it's like, it's also just like taped up. So I'm just gonna- I really like it. Rip it down. That's sweet. Um, and then this was just, I think actually Andrea did this. What is it? How funny is that? It's just, I mean, we were just like sitting in the downstairs area where we used to live and I'm pretty sure like we were just like, like goofing and like trying to test out paints and stuff. And I just saw this in my sketchbook one day and I was like, oh, I should like put that up. I kind of like it. So thanks for the art. <laughs> um, and then this is our hallway closet. It's just, this is a great example of how little storage we have. Like all of our linens have to go in here. All of our coats have to go in here. Our backpacks have to go in here. Like everything. It's also filled with really important stuff. Like. Well, obviously. Like that. I'm not gonna throw this away. Yeah. I don't have a hoarding problem. You have a hoarding problem. I yeah. Then let's see here. Where should we go? What do we think? Choose your own adventure, right or left? Wow, there's an annotation on screen now. Ooh, Whoa, which ooh, one's it gonna be? Ooh. 
no, you don't have a choice. I, you know what, we'll do bathroom just because it's such like a non, I'm not going to show you like the depths of our bathroom because it's, trust me. We'll just peek our heads in. Peek our, let's peek our heads in. Let's, let's peek our heads in. Peek. See let's what's peek. about. Let's peek. This is the bathroom. Um, it's not huge. The one thing that kind of bugs me about lay bathroom is that the shower head is not tall enough for Will. Which is something that we've kind of run into almost everywhere that we've lived. So, <laughs> not something that I'm really blaming on this place. Um, but we do, like, he has to tilt the shower head to be able to fit underneath. Yeah, and then, tall like, people problems. Tall people props. And so then it's like water gets everywhere. But it's not his fault. It's like just what happens. So, anyways, that. And then also, like, this is, it's, it's a really lovely bathroom. Like, it's a nice bathroom. But it just doesn't... Like, this is probably the most storage that I have, and, at, like, I use so many products, so I'm, like, constantly trying stuff out, and so, like, things kind of get a bit overflowy, and then they kind of end up everywhere else, and I've tried to kind of organize it, like, I have all my perfumes and stuff over here, um, and, like, hair products and stuff over here, but... I'm just bad at organizing. I need a place that just already has stuff ready. And then this is our Monstera who was doing so incredibly well before I replanted him. That was when things really went south was when I replanted him. Because the other one's looking so good. I don't know if you saw it. It was looking so good. This one's just like, he's, I'm going to bring him back to health. I promise. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get the sign. Oh, right. You've got to get the sign. Oh, okay. Open. Hey, you ready to party? B-Y-O-L. Do you know what that is? B-Y-O-L? Bring your own... Lager. That'd be a good party item. But why wouldn't I just say B-Y-O-B? What is it? This is our bedroom. Tis small. It fits a queen bed, which is fantastic. Um, and as you can see, uh, I haven't gotten over the whole like pillow thing ever. So like we've got my man Totoro here, whom I love. Uh, Llama boy, very cute. Uh, this is Sebastian, who actually came home with us from New Zealand. We love Sebastian. And then this is my big splooty cat, who also has a little pink butthole. Hmm. Very cute. On top of that, I'm trying to think of what's interesting about this bed. Well, Will built it with his own two hands, which was pretty impressive. Lots of swearing involved, I'm assuming. Um, but the, like, wood is, it's from West Elm, I think as well. Or is this CB2? Uh, I think that's West Elm. This one's West Elm. All of our, like, uh, entertainment system... Um, our console and our coffee table are, are all from CB2. Oh, I have this really cute llama over here. So this is my little llama that I got from Anthro, who holds a little plant, who, yes, needs more work as well. Um, but I can hang my little bags, like my favorite bags over here. And then also I've got my Solomons, which uh, my friends Bailey and George turned me on to. They're like my favorite shoes. And then I've got my two other favorite pairs of shoes to wear right now too underneath, just so like I can see them. But it would be nice to have a cute little place to display my shoes because mm -hmm. I do like some of my shoes and yeah. <laughs> and then this is my side table, which is a fucking wreck. I've got barcade tokens. I've got face wipes. I've got toner back here. I've got a moisturizer. I've got flossers. I've got a little hair clip. I've got a very good book. Someone who will love you in all your damaged glory, which is such a fantastic book. Um, yeah. Um, we've also got our weighted blanket here, which is from Baraby, and it's so good, but it does make you feel like you can't breathe sometimes, <laughs> depending, depending on who you are. Um, this is our TV that originally was in our living room, but then I was like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if we could watch stuff in bed, which is one of my favorite times to watch things. Um, I've got this little, uh, like jewelry case sort of holder thing. This was a gift from Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees sent this with a whole bunch of toothpaste in it. Random. Um, and then this is a chest of drawers that I bought from a vintage mart that was like, I think it was like 400 bucks. 
which felt like a good deal at the time, and I was like, eh, it's better than Ikea. Sure, why not? This is basically where like the offload of all of our closet space has gone, aka my stuff. It's not Will, it's me. Um, it's all like pants and things that I can't really organize. And like, I've tried, trust me, I've tried to organize this closet. And I'm just, I'm just gonna open this door just as a sneaky peek, because like, as you've seen on this channel, I have done closet clear out after closet clear out. And I just, I inherently hoard things 1000%. But also, like, I just don't like getting rid of anything. Hmm. And I also don't, and it's, I love stuff. Yeah. And those are... That makes sense. Those are the two biggest things. Yeah, you like stuff and, and you don't want to get rid of anything. And I don't want to get rid of anything. Yeah. So, because I also, I have a sort of survivalist mentality of like, well, if everything goes tits up, I could sell my clothes. You know what I mean? I have like sort of a back, because I donate most of the things that I don't want anymore. Um, but I don't want to give anything up. Okay. I just want to keep it all. So that being said, when we move in the next couple months, there's going to be a true reckoning of this closet. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a nightmare. But then like, keep in mind, the, the, the closets that we have also end up being storage for stuff like, uh, like Will has a steady cam that we can't put anywhere. So that's just in his closet. And then same thing with like, tripods and stuff we don't have any room for them so they just go in closets they just sit outside in the living room like there's not really space to put anything um and like for instance i was telling will earlier i was like don't worry about the suitcase because this is a very good example will has been here for a week and like we can't really get rid of his suitcase because there's nowhere to put it <laughs> like the best place to put it would probably be his closet but even that it's gonna be a squeeze Mm -hmm. because there's already another suitcase in there and a tripod and a steady cam and a set of lights and that closet is just as big as this closet so fitting all of that in there and then also will's clothes on top of it is just like not very reasonable it would be lovely to have a studio or like a place where we could put all of our work related stuff like cameras equipment anything that's bulkier and bigger that's what's kind of missing out in this space is that there's no storage for any of that stuff. This is my uh, wall of, of pillowy, comfortable lounge things. This is my uh, Japanese inspired, not actually Japanese, although it is Japanese writing. Oh no, it is, it's made in Japan. <gasps> that makes me so happy. Wata no Sato. This is an amazing, this thing, oh my god. Look at this. This is a, like a Japanese winter coat, an indoor winter coat. So it's like something comfortable and comforty and oh, it's so good. But I hang it up on this little hay hook, which is one of my favorite things ever. And it's coming to the next place because I love it so much. Um, but I hung this up by myself, so it's a little wonky and um, yeah, it's the only place that I have storage for like sweaters and stuff, so. But it's very cool. It just gets covered up the moment I do this though. So. So. That is Le Appartement. I don't know if we saw enough of it. What do you think, Will? Did we give enough of a- I think we got it. We got a good view? We got Let's get outro to this. You have to say something like, this has been my crib. Um, thanks for coming in, but it's time for you guys to get out. Ooh, right. Um, well, we, wow. Leave. Ah. Go, 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 Leave. What do you think? Is that one good? Or? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay.